This film will focus on making sculpture using a construction technique also called assemblage. Because we will be joining together or adding materials, this is called an additive technique. There are numerous ways of joining or constructing. Welding, gluing, taping, tying, stitching, wrapping, stapling, etc. Assemblages or construction projects are easy to do using found and scrap materials. This makes them accessible for teachers with limited physical resources. In these pictures, you can see the kinds of things you and your learners could collect and use. In today's activity, however, we will be constructing sculptures using only much more limited recycled materials, corrugated cardboard boxes. We will also need very thin sticks like wooden skewers, thin wire, scissors and cutting knives or Stanley knives. In addition, you could use wooden cloth pegs, split pins and glue, but these are not essential. We will use a number of techniques to create our final artworks. You'll be problem solving as you go. But there are some basic techniques to master at the beginning. Joining flat planes of cardboard at different angles to each other. Creating a base. Using wire and sticks with cardboard for creating lines, dimensions and a sense of movement. What will you create? This will be a work that incorporates space and that suggests movement. It is fully three-dimensional, different on every side. But in this kind of activity, you are also problem solving. Discovering other things as you go. How to join the pieces without needing glue or other aids how to create stability so that the work stands, how to create balance, though not necessarily symmetry, how to create a dynamic sense of movement, outward movement or spiraling movement, etc. And lastly, how to incorporate space. These are fundamental design principles that you will explore. Secondly, you will be building on what you create at each stage which means the final result will be unexpected and a surprise to you. You will be adding and adding as the sculpture itself allows you to. Which principles of design have we explored? What art elements are at work and what meaning do they convey for you? What does your piece say? Show sure.